Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today for another video. So this is the first of three short videos looking at Bluetooth peripherals for network radios and conventional two-way radios. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the Samcom or Sankuzo ZE E01. Now, this is a PTT earpiece headset, similar to most others that come with handheld two-way radios, except this one is Bluetooth. And it simply connects to your network radio via Bluetooth, and once it's, once it's been assigned as a virtual button in something like Zello, it'll work as a fully functioning Bluetooth PTT headset. So, the device has a power button on the front, which when pressed for 5 seconds, enters it into connect mode for connecting with your network radio. It also has volume controls and a PTT button, and the microphone's on the main body. And there's also a USB charging socket on the underside, and the main unit has its own built-in lithium-ion battery. Also included in the package is a standalone PTT button with a Velcro strap, and this automatically connects to the main unit when it's switched on, and can be charged via the supplied USB charging cable and mains adapter. And the PTT button also has its own small built-in battery. A flexible cable runs from the main body of the headset to the earpiece uh, and this is supplied with a sponge cover for added comfort should you need it and the earpiece hooks over the top of your ear to keep it secure and the main body itself has a clip on it so it can be attached to your shirt. And the nice thing about having the separate Bluetooth PTT button is that it can be mounted on a rucksack, the gear stick of your car or really anywhere um, so you don't have to reach up to the headset body to talk. And what's also nice about these is that because they're little Bluetooth buttons, they can be used with other devices as well. So once everything was charged and set up and connected, I went onto the network radios group on Zello and had a quick chat with Carl G1YPQ and he gave me an audio report. Now I'm going to show you that next, but just bear in mind that the audio you hear is from my network radios loudspeaker captured by my camera and is then coming through the speakers of whichever device you're watching the video on. So it's important to bear in mind that it's not a scientifically accurate test, but it gives you an idea of how the headset works. Are you receiving, Carl? Yeah, got you, Lewis. Just, um, yeah, got you, Lewis. Hang on a minute, I've got two hundred radios going here. Um, yeah, receiving you, I'm clear. Yeah, no worries. I'm on um, something from um, Samcom here. Basically an earpiece, um, a little, like a, an earphone earpiece. It connects to a PTT volume box and it has a little wireless PTT. So both PTTs actually work. So I'm just stood here now with a Queen Goo P3 with this little wireless uh, PTT button. So I wonder how it's sounding. Back to you. Um, it's sounding absolutely fine. Um, if I'm going to be hypercritical, it's almost like you're clipping like, from just the high notes. Um, but when I'm looking at the uh, the, the bar diagram that obviously you get on Zello, uh, it's not going across to the red, it, it, it looks like it's absolutely perfect, it's just uh, going out enough before it starts hitting the red, where I'm, I'm actually looking at myself on another device and that, that's banging across to the red, so um, perhaps my audio's a little bit hot as well, I don't know. Um, but I don't know if you want to do or if you can, just back away a little bit. Um, you sometimes get this noise when noise cancelling starts um, trying to kick in. Uh, so it could be a little bit of noise cancelling going on. Uh, but I'm being really, really critical uh, because, you know, I can hear every word um, crystal clear. Certainly much clearer than, um, let's just say, DMR or um, D-Star. <laughs> Uh, C4 FM, uh, certainly much, much clearer than that. Um, but there, there is, if I was going to be hypercritical, and it, it just sounds like it's either a clipping or it's a noise cancelling um, uh, uh, that's, that's just kicking in a little bit. Um, but uh, other than that, absolutely fine. Uh, look, looking forward to uh, having a look. Keep telling me about all these devices, and the only time I ever get to see them is uh, obviously when you're doing your uh, uh, YouTube uh, reviews. And uh, it's like, oh, that's good. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, I think I've got enough toys to play with at the moment. Uh, I've got an, an 8900, um, a Yesu FT8900 that's uh, still in its box. Um, the Editone um, ATD578 UV Pro, that's still in its box. Uh, and I think I've got an Editone 4 meter 
Peters FM that's been out of the box once. And I've actually got a base aerial for that as well. Um, it's uh, it's just finding the time to um, uh, to actually get these things up and running, and uh, then it's time to find uh, to actually um, play with these uh, things that we've got. Back to you. Yeah, no worries. I'll notice on the audio as well, Carl. I am back to wait a little bit to see if that's any different. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't actually see there. I'm sort of going into the red a little bit. But yeah, no, that's uh, that's good. It's good to know how it's sounding. Like I said, I'm going to put the chat replay back on, on camera and try and put a little bit of a video together to show these things. So yeah, I've got, I've, well, I've got a shelf behind me in the shack here with about 10, 10 or 12 boxes on with them open stuff in. So. I'm like you, it's just getting out to playing with them, isn't it? Yeah, you've got some, some, some seriously cool kit there, by the sounds of the car, anyway. Look we'll forward to seeing more on that. But yeah, I'll, I'll have to, I'll need to post more in the group when I get these bits and pieces coming through. I need to start posting on the group more. That's something I'm guilty of. I definitely need to start doing that and then get more, more, more bits and pieces out there. Uh, Instead, just going back to the microphones we spoke about before, the, uh, the NAND phone one makes the Vero key up with audio. Um, but it, it de-keys, it'll keep the mic for about three seconds, so I'm not sure what that is. Um, the um, Vero uh, didn't, didn't connect to any of the other, other network radios properly, so must be something in the uh, in the software on them. But yeah, interesting stuff. This, this little microphone's um, definitely doing the trick anyway, I'm impressed with it. I'll, uh, I'll send you some pictures as soon as we finish on it, I'll, I'll pass this back to you. Um, for final, and I'll send you some photos over on Facebook anyway, Carl. But cheers for coming on the quick test there, I appreciate it. I'm really busy with stuff, and uh, obviously trying to enjoy your evening, but I appreciate you coming back there, Carl. So yeah, say 7-3 and catch you in a little while. Okay, so that's just a quick overview of the Samcom or Zancuso ZE E01. Um, quite impressed with the device on the whole. There is a little bit of audio clip in there, but that's something that could be um, potentially sorted out in settings on Zello. Um, there's all sorts of things that could be looked at around that, um, or it could be some noise cancelling somewhere, as Carl said. As far as I'm aware, this device is still in pre-production, so as soon as it comes out, I will um, provide links in the description below. Um, I'll let you know as soon as I receive those. But yeah, it's just an option to have a Bluetooth earpiece for your network radio. These have been done for things like Bofengs and stuff like that with the Kenwood style connectors, but it's nice to have something that's fully... Um, sort of bluetooth and doesn't need to be plugged into the device itself so yeah quite interesting so i'll leave that one there guys this is just number one in the uh, little series of three videos on bluetooth peripheral so i hope you enjoyed it give you an idea of some of the options that are out there if you did enjoy it give it a thumbs up if you have any comments suggestions or questions drop them in the box below and i'll get back to you if you haven't subscribed make sure you hit subscribe and all that's left to say is 73 thanks very much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one cheers